Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and that this year has been serving you all well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my most recent piece that I did on my sketchbook. I'm really, 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 really into Horizon Zero Dawn. It's one of my favorite games ever of all time and mind you i love playstation games especially ones that you play on your own i'm not very much an online gamer or anything like that but i do love the ones you can play on your own and i love open world and to me horizon was completely a game changer and it's definitely one of my top top games if not my top game of all time so i've been wanting to paint some scenery from horizon and a while back i took quite a few pictures while in the game and you know set some mood lighting took pictures of scenery that i could later on paint i've been really loving doing this i've been doing this with other games like Breath of the Wild and I've also been doing this with some Studio Ghibli scenes which I've done with Kiki's Delivery Service and also Howl's Moving Castle and I've been having a lot of fun just drawing these. So Horizon has been one of the ones that inspire me the most to draw and paint but I'm not very skilled at environmental paintings so it's always something that's a bit daunting so i've been putting it off because they're kind of complex and i didn't want to mess up so i have a bunch of pictures saved honestly i i think i've spent hours taking a bunch of pictures from the game like i've spent so much time there and i've i've played this game twice now and lately i've been spending a lot of time just taking pictures <laughs> I don't know, I'm not too much into photography, but I just love this game, it's so gorgeous, wherever you go, it's just so gorgeous, and there's so much potential places that you can actually paint, so much inspiration, I don't know, so anyways... Uh, going into what I'm doing, what you guys are seeing, I selected a few of those pictures to paint and I wanted to do a full on spread but I didn't want to make only one of the scenery because I, I couldn't decide which picture to choose so I chose a bunch of them and decided to go for it. So the first one you're seeing is one of the dummy training dummies that uh, Aloy has in her house where she lived with Rost. Um, they're also scattered all over the Nora in the Embrace, the Nora you know, territory and in the game there's actually, if you didn't know, there's actually a trophy that you can get if you knock them all down. If you knock every single one of them down, you do get a trophy if I'm not mistaken. And I just love these. I think these are super cool and you do get to see them in the intro of the video game. Um, and I just think they're very cute, very nice. I, I, just, I just like them, they're cute. I don't know what to say, I'd love to have one. It's just fucking cute. Um, so I definitely wanted to paint that one and I also like the ones uh, near Aloy's house, um, they're, you know, surrounded by snow and everything, so it's very nice, very cute, I really like it. Um, the second uh, picture that I took is from a mountainside where you see, like, a, a vigil post, I don't know how you call them, but it's just those posts on top of the mountains to see, you know, the surrounding areas, and I don't know, I caught this nice, like, guy with the nice lighting, and I was trying to portray that also in the painting, but I don't know, I'm not very used to painting rocks, I'm not very much used to, like, you know, doing this, so it was pretty interesting, like, for me to paint this, trying to catch the values, the lights, and the shadows more than anything else, um, but I did struggle a little bit, because I, I guess I get into my own head, to be honest, um, I try and make myself more perfectionist, you know, I want everything to look like the original, I want every piece to look exactly the same, I want the lighting to look perfect, and I struggle with this a lot, especially in these scenery things, because I just tend to like, I don't know, just, just I want the rocks to be the exact same placement, I want it to be hyper realistic, while it's definitely not a realistic, you know, painting, so I do struggle with it a little bit, and I sometimes have to, you know, check myself mid-painting, and realize, hey, that is not what you're doing here, 
The third painting that you are going to see um, is of a box. So this is one of those viewpoints that you can get throughout the world and uh, this viewpoint is in abandoned buildings. It's right the first abandoned buildings that you get to play during the gameplay. It's one of the challenging viewpoints in, in the sense of like getting there because they're surrounded by machines it's a very creepy area well not creepy but you know it's hard to maneuver around and so i don't know i really like this viewpoint i like the moodiness of it i like how you can see everything past it even though you don't see it in this painting because it's more you know simplistic and i just wanted to draw that i don't know why that inspired me sometimes we get inspired by the weirdest things um, but it really did inspire me. Um, before we go any further, I do want to mention something that I forgot to mention in the beginning, which is these paintings are made purely using gouache paints. I'm using my Himi Mia uh, palette and I'm using mainly gouache. I'm also adding details in the end using my Prismacolor pencils. I've been enjoying doing this uh, for a while now and I really like the effect that comes from it but it does get tricky sometimes and I do think that on the viewpoint painting I did mess up the eye hologram. I did mess it up a little bit um, but you know you live and you learn and it was an experience okay I'm trying to keep positive honestly but I did use pencils to refine the sketch a little bit more um, I didn't use them as much on the second half of this spread um, but I did use them a lot in the first half just to help you know define some parts in the second part of the spread we have a tower thing so this thing is in the Karja territory the Sun King territory and basically it's one of the towers that you see when you go to the elevators from the sun city so i don't know why but this part of the game is just so gorgeous to me it the construction is amazing and i still remember to this day the first time i went in to the like elevators i was so amazed with the graphics of this game right because her hair you know it floofs up with the wind also her clothes also do that you see the mechanism of the elevator going up and down so it's not just like a square that's going down in the game it's they actually built in the mechanism and they found a way for the mechanism to work and you see it work you also see the entire environment around you and it's a gorgeous scenery to, to look at I don't know I was so amazed and so impressed and this part you know with the little towers is one of the ones I like the most so I just I had to paint it it's one of the pictures that I've had for a long ass time and I've always wanted to paint it and I'm you know it, I struggled a little bit while doing it but I had a lot of fun um, and I really like the outcome and I like the gold detailing that I added in the end now for the last piece of this painting it is the bane of my existence to be completely honest with you i don't know why every single painting went really well i had a lot of fun painting every single scene except this one i struggled so bad so this is the entrance in all mother uh, you know cave whatever it is i didn't like i struggled with it the lighting the colors i couldn't really find what i wanted to i went too purpley and in the end i don't like it as much and i was already giving up i wasn't having a lot of fun with it so don't mind that one just pretend it's not there even though it's a really gigantic painting just pretend it's not there it's not that you didn't see anything you, you didn't see anything okay <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys like the finished pieces oh my god i i do love the spread i i love the fact that i painted some horizon scenery i'm just so happy for that i can't stop looking at this because it just takes me back to the game and i genuinely love it let me know if you've ever played the game okay only the reels the real people will be able to answer this question because it's right at the end of the video let me know if you've played the game and let me know if you are as excited as i am for the sequel uh let me know what your favorite part of the game is okay thank you so much for watching guys if you want to keep up to date with my art and everything i do post more frequently on instagram and on tiktok so you guys can follow me there the links will be down on the description box below and uh yeah if you like this video please give it a like it will make me feel so much better if i see a like at the end you know uh thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next week Bye!